Hi guys, this is our help video for our distributed objects rollout in Scatter. Um, this is where you're going to be doing most of your work, a lot of your changes here. Um, once you have picked your surface, you're going to need to add objects to your scatter. So there's two ways of doing that. You have the dialog box, or you can pick them individually. And let's just go through, I'm going to pick some grass and some clover. All right. So once you've scattered this right away, you're going to see that it's already given you sort of a pattern, which happens by default to be fractal three. Um, you don't need to change it here. Anything that you change over here is not going to make any difference. This is just for you to view maps and add other types of maps. Where you're going to change this is you have a global map, which is everything, which is all objects and each object has their own maps. So for right now, let's just go to all objects and I'm going to set this to full where it'll scatter everywhere. And we're going to go to our Clover object and we're going to put this on Fractal 3. So you can see um, it's dispersed a lot differently. It's using, you know, a separate map for each individual um, scatter themselves. All right. Um, other things in this menu, um, obviously you can remove any of these objects simply in here. Uh, the other is we have an object replace. So if I wanted to replace my clover with say this weed, I just click on this end button, press, I'm highlighted on what I want to replace, and then I select another object. And now that's actually replaced that object with the clover or with the weed. So you don't have to go delete it and then re-add a map to it and all those settings. All right. Um, the other up here is, the last thing, is a percentage of scatter. So my grass, I'm going to leave it 100%. Uh, the clover, though, I'm going to take down to possibly 25%. Because I want it at least, I don't want it as scattered. Um, and then I can actually probably bring this up quite a bit more. And I can bring my clover down just a little more. So I I'm, I'm, can get sort of some drastic different stuff really quickly. Um, the other thing is with the all objects, they all have a global transformation and collisions. And each object has a global transformation and collisions. So in this case, I have plants. So I'm always going to, on all of them, I'm probably going to want to turn on random transformation. I'm going to definitely want some rotation out of these objects and I'm going to want some scale. And so I'm going to get a good variation that way. Um, now, when it comes into, you know, stuff like I have my um, painting tools, I can erase some of this stuff. Uh, I can paint in some, you know, once I've already sort of got this, I don't forget, I can go down into my painting tools and erase and add some more stuff to make it a little more natural. Uh, but a lot of the stuff you're going to use is up here. Also, the other thing to keep in mind is if I go down and let's just add our, we're going to add our weed again since we, oh, sorry, our clover since we actually got that out. So now as I'm bringing in that new object, like I talked about, it's in the global map. So I'm going to want to go down to global, I mean, sorry, down to my clover, and I will pick fractal one possibly this time. So that'll give me something a little different. Now, um, I do have rotation and scale on all my objects. If I have one object that is just a little big or a little small, I can actually go into that itself and boost that individual object up itself. So there's two sets of transformations. There's a global and an individual transformation. Um, lastly is the collisions. So um, the, and the animation offset we're still working on. So right now for the beta, that's at this point it's disabled. It will work in some of the render engines, but not in V-Ray at the moment, uh, because V-Ray has our optimization. Uh, so come back to that. <laughs> Uh, collisions. Uh, collisions work. Um, we're trying to make them faster. So right now I have the globals and if I go in and turn on collisions, um, this is in the clover itself and I set it to say 14%, you're going to see my collisions on my clover change. Um, the lower down I go to this, of course, the further away they're going to get. Um, collisions are something that we think we're going to need to rewrite um, 
come up with a better way of doing this because it is a bit slow. So we're, that's something that's on our list of doing. Um, and then that is pretty much it. I think we've gone over everything here in our, um, oh, the last thing to keep. This N, um, that is for the normals. And with this PC geometry, I can't really show you. Um, maybe I can on the edge. Uh, if I go to all objects and I turn this up, you're going to see at the river edge here, you're going to see these things tilt down. What this does is it turns the object to go in the direction of the normal. So, and you can set a variation on that as well. So if you had hills and stuff like that, and you want your grass not to all point straight up, but a little bit of an angle, that's what the N is. So, and lastly here, um, there is another video for this, but we have another menu that if you double click on any of these, it'll bring up our renaming and proxy dialog. And within here, you can rename these objects um, because there's, it only displays a short name in here. Also, you can actually add these, create proxies out of these so you can delete the original object out of the scene. We have a separate video on that. So um, check out this little question mark for that. Thanks a lot, guys. See ya.